European Open Beach Fishing Championships 2024. Today's Thursday. We drove up yesterday. Fresh Robbie's in the back. Uh, living the dream with uh, Mr. Delaney. John? <laughs> Are we going to catch a cod, Robbie? We're going to catch cod. There's cod. We're going to catch some cod. Is it, uh, Mold. The cod. Sticky coins there. Oh, that's like old money from Victorian times, isn't it? <laughs> When did you last clean the van then, honestly? It's, it's never had a clean. Whatever? Never. <laughs> is that, you've been eating some sort of cheese biscuits or something? What is that? Do you know what that yeah. is? It's been there that long, you don't even know, do you? It's cereal. Cereal? <laughs> There's um Best of White Snake CD. Right, what we got on? Rocklin, rocklin everywhere. What was your seal impression, Liam? Did I see on that? Let's have a look what Robbie's caught. Literally have no idea what that is. Hey! Yeah! Bass. John's had a flat line there. Yeah, Yes! Got to be open. It's got to be open. Four yeah. Four three. Well, Do you want a photo, that's John? What? I reckon it's a ray. I've never really saw that a bit ray like. Now, tomorrow, Friday, we will be doing the flatty bash this year. And then on Saturday and Sunday, the main European Open Beach Fishing Championship. So, we're after sea, won't we? What we're really after is a cod. I mean, there's been a few fish around today. I think John's had a dogfish and a whiting. The whiting was 33. I had a small whiting. Decent sized rockling so far. Rods are still out. You can see, rods are still out. You can see them down there. I mean, the tides, we came up at high tide, so it's going out pretty quick now. Liam's rod over there. Lovely day though. It's really, it's really nice to come out um, on the Thursday, just as a little bit of a warm up, really. <laughs> Thank you. 
Is this that bad? Hey guys. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we were going to run it over anyway, were we? Cheers, Robbie. <laughs> No kids or women, is there? No, nope. sure. No, we got Robbie. <laughs> 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 We're going to kids play to Robin. Thumbs up! That's the thing. That's the end of his groin. All wrong. Where are we, Robbie? Where are we actually pegged? North. North. <laughs> North. <laughs> but no, is it Hornsey? Is it Hornsey? Is it Hornsey? <laughs> right, flatty bash, flatty bash. What are we doing? So the sea, it's not great. Um, we we're hoping to target dab. So we've got weak old rag, uh, mackerel, little mackerel to chip it off. Some blacks, which are nice and smelly. Nice and smelly, and uh, I, I was going to go just flapper rigs, but with the wind, I don't know. I might do a flapper real close in. You've got to be hitting it hard or really close in. You don't want to be in the middle and no man's land today, I believe. So, yeah, we'll see. Well, hopefully, we're. I think in the past, you've needed like 30 odd dabs to um, win. But this behind where you sign off. It's basically where you want to be, but because we've come down, we've had to walk right up. But I think it's normally one behind where you sign on. There's another two zones miles where I think it's like 350 people fish this. Um, but yeah, hopefully we just get a few dabs. It's a bit of a warm up. Obviously, we had a great day yesterday in the little warm up. Today's the sort of flatty bash. Be nice to get up on the big stage at the end. But of course, Saturday and Sunday is the days where we want to get something big. But this is a different type of match. There's no size limit, so we can use very small hooks if we need to. Go down to, you know, size six hooks uh, and just try and pick up tiny little dabs. But I'm also going to try some bigger hooks, um, you know, sort of size two, and just see what's about, really. Right, here we go. Look how tight we are. That is tight today. That's it, isn't it? <laughs> I'm coming in close. Is it? What's... Two minutes past. Pretty much in front of us, and John's gone out, they're all hitting it. Look, I'm coming close in to start with. The dance is a mate. Let's have a look. 
monster. Fly off in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there. I'm sorry. It's right here. Fuck, I know yours. Oh. <laughs> 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 the web is hit, it's there. <laughs> oh my god, we, we, we was predicted to come in like this, but blow me. First car, so what's it? John's had a dab. Liam's had a one or two dabs. So they, they're in the flatfish. I haven't had a dab. There's a couple of white, and not a lot of fish coming up, but the weather now. It's not really flat fish weather. Yeah, up here you want it all sort of flat calm, like it was yesterday. It's going to be like that again on Sunday, actually. So it's, it is horrific out there now, look. But I've got to go cast out again. I'll go and brave it and see what happens. <laughs> Welcome to Yorkshire! It's <laughs> <laughs> horrific, isn't it? Did you have one? Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, well. I'm going to get more. Yeah, cheers, Ed. Give us a text later. Right, didn't think it would get any worse, but it has got worse. I've reeled in. Liam's reeled in, Darren Wilson's gone home. It's uh, horrific. If it weren't so horrible, I could pack up and walk home, but um, as a lot of people are, but yeah, I think that might be it for the day. I might have had a blank on the flatty bash. But it's all right. Saturday and Sunday are the days that we want to do well. Turkeys? <laughs> what do you reckon of this, John? A little bit out of tune, isn't he? The entertainment's awful up here. You've got Robbie the Naughty looking for Cardi. <laughs> <laughs> With Jimmy and Liam and Uncle Johnny. <laughs> Right, so the flatty bash was basically a complete washout. There's nothing you can do about the weather. It's how it is. You could fish well for the first sort of half hour, which you'll see where John Liam had their fish, and then it just got unfishable. When you get all that sort of swell and that uh, in close, it, it just kills it up there. Let's have a look at the Final results for the Flatty Bash 2024. Congratulations to the winner, Darren Brown. He had seven fish by the looks of it. So seven fish won the whole of the Flatty Bash. There was only just over 200 people fished, I think, this year. Uh, obviously due to the weather. The locals wouldn't have gone out, I wouldn't have thought. Um, the writing's quite hard to read, but I will leave a link uh, and you can go to the European Open Facebook page. You can look at all the results in detail. Um, so the winner came from zone A. Second was from zone B, which was my zone, Mark Taylor, uh, who had six fish. Third place, uh, well done to Dave Richardson from Zone A with um, seven fish. I mean, you can get down to sort of 10th place and you start, they've had two fish. I mean, that's, it, it was hard. <laughs> it was really hard. Looking back, I should have clipped down for the first two casts like the other guys and I, I might have had a fish or two fish. That was probably the best we could have hoped for from the bit of beach that we were on. I think I will have a go at it next year, but it was okay because the European Open Beach Fishing Championships was on the Saturday and Sunday. Oh, look at it up here. <laughs> right, day one of the European Open Beach Fishing Championship. At the moment, weather is looking good. 
We've got Robbie there. We've got two previous winners, I believe, down there. So we're sort of in the right place. We have to be. It's where we caught some fish on Thursday, a little bit further along, but feeling confident. We've got Liam there. John, the next one. I reckon we could have a fish. I don't think we're going to have one. It's going to be in the first wow, hour, maybe the first couple of hours. Tides up. Am I going to weigh in a cod at the European Open Beach Fishing Championships? Well, I sort of feel more confident than I ever have. Right, here we go. One minute. Right, second cast, we have got a white in 30 centimetres. They've got to be 35, Robbie. 35, mate. Yeah. 35, so unfortunately, no good. But a fish is a fish. How big was John? John had one of 34 first cast. 34 first cast, John's got, so. Saturday of the European Open Beach Fishing Championship. This is day one. Now, this is a weird competition because it's your biggest fish of each day counts. So you need to catch a fish each day, preferably a big fish. So we got a little bit washed out. It was okay for the first hour or two. Uh, and then the weather, again, washed us out a little bit. It didn't help us. But um, Saturday results, again, I will leave a link in the description to the uh, European Open Beach Fishing page on Facebook. All the results are here in detail. Right. First place on the Saturday was Ben Laws um, with a ray of £5.1 ounces. They actually work in grams. It's 230 grams at this one. Second place, another ray. So a ray in first and second form backs, I believe. Uh, Andrew Chester, uh, he had a £4.10 ounce ray. So a £5.1 ounce fish on the first day of the competition is not a big fish, really. Um, you know, you're looking at a double figure fish, I would have thought, on each day, really. So it, it was hard fishing for everyone. Um, from third place onwards, it was all cod. So third place with the biggest cod was £4.5 ounces. Now, Troy Francis was just down from us on the beach. He won it a few years back. He was he did catch a cod. He was in 11th place. Only £2.7 ounces. So not massive. It was hard work. Um, the good thing about this competition is even if you don't catch anything, like none of us weighed in on the Saturday, you could... Still win it on the Sunday. All we needed was a big fish. Conditions were looking more favourable on the Sunday. We knew this looking at the weather forecast in the middle of the week. Where are we going to get one? Right. Final day of the European Open Beach Fishing Championships. My voice is gone. Thursday was one of my favorite fishing days ever, really. We came down, very little pressure, had a bit of a go. I caught a few cod, which I've been trying to do for like seven years. And then Friday completely washed out of the flatty bash. The weather was, but wasn't right yesterday at all. It was horrible. So it's been really challenging. Like, first, it was the best fishing day ever. Friday was the worst fishing day ever. Saturday wasn't great. 
but we've come back to the same spot again because today is the exact same weather as Thursday, where we've done very well just here. So, we worked out Thursday what baits were doing well, and we've just got lots of different lug, black lug, blow lug, yellow lug, some squid, we have got some herrings. The two biggest fish yesterday was actually rays, not big, only about five pounds. So, all is to play for today. We can still actually win the whole competition, even though we didn't go well yesterday. One big fish is what we need today. You know, getting a sizable flounder, which would have been good yesterday. Today, different game. We just need one big fish to do well. Um, and I think fish might be here. I think cod might be here. Uh, I'm hearing, we've actually got the Paul, is it Paul Med? Just up there. Yeah, there's a lot of people fishing down here that know what they're doing. It could be good, right. That's the sea. The sea. Paul meant the next one down there. Right, Robbie's next to me. We've got Liam and John. <clears throat> but I think we could have a fish today. We've got, I've got some rigs ready. Uh, pulley panel there. That's my pulley panel. We've got a free hook flapper as well. Free hook flapper, you wouldn't really use a free hook flapper for big fish fishing, but I have nicked a few out with smaller hooks and smaller baits, so there's no point trying to experiment today. Even though we want one big fish, I am gonna have a little go with smaller baits. And we'll see what happens. Liam McGrady, five, fine specimen of a man. What do you think? We, I reckon we're gonna catch a cod today, aren't we? Yeah, it's definitely looking fair, isn't it? At low tide, there was a hole out there, wasn't there? Yeah, Jimmy's hole. Jimmy's hole, it's just, it's just out there. But the weather's better, isn't it? Yeah, yeah they're fishing. Yeah. Liam, Liam's, Liam's confident. You see all this mud coming down here. It's all going towards Liam. <laughs> Right, we're fishing, we're going. I reckon first couple of casts, or so the first hour, got to fish hard because the water's, in the middle, the water goes out and it's a bit hard to get over it, but there's a ledge, but I'm in the hole at the moment. Jimmy's hole. No, I'm wet, I'm measured it, yeah. Is that a haddock? What's that white in? Yeah, you got white in. That is a white in, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So a haddock is... I'm trying to see what the difference is with a haddock. It's all a bit... A bit whiter and bigger eyes. They're yeah, similar to a white in. They're they? very similar, aren't they? Very like, very like. 40 haddock have got to be. That's a big white in. It's going to be far off. Soon. It's in. It's well in. 36. 
Yeah. He's on the table, my boy. He's got a nice eye, isn't he? Right, isn't he? That's well in. It's close. That's close. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay. yeah. You need to keep them in your bucket before you keep yeah. changing it. Uh, yep. Had it where we thought it was. Yeah. So we have got a sizeable fish, the 35 centimetre whiting. The only problem is they do shrink. So will it be 35 centimetres at the weighing? I'm not 100% sure, but really happy to get something sizeable. It's a good sign. His other eye is not looking so good. <laughs> but we have something sizable, well, has to be a positive thing because it's been a tricky few days. Right, Liam's got a bite. Very exciting moment, you can see the excitement in his face. <laughs> Well done, Liam. A John. <laughs> that was a cod now. <laughs> yeah, just bass fishing. <laughs> right, we've got bass. The only issue is that bass aren't included in this year's competition. 42 centimetres, so it would have been sizable. A bit disappointing because there's a hundred percent sure it was a cod when reading it in. It was exactly like the two on Thursday. Beautiful fish, but we're putting back safe and sound. I did it. It's taken seven years of coming up here. About 45, nearly 46. Nice belly on it as well, so it's a nice weight. But we have caught a cod from Yorkshire in a competition. All that prep work that we did on Thursday is play dividends today. Yes, we got one. Draft a bit for that, we're weighing in. The whiting's going back because it's gonna struggle to get 35. That's what we've come here for, for seven years. Yes. Hello there. Cod. That's a rare specimen. Yeah. <laughs> a cod. For 45. Right, come on then. There we go, I've written cards, it's just a ticket number and your signature really. 
Saturday didn't look very good looking at the card. <laughs> Two, two, uh, five, three. There you go. Thank you very much, sir. Much You're appreciated. Very welcome. It's lovely to see you, Rob. Have you haven't had one then? No, not a card. I've had a, a couple of white, and that's it. Were they sizable? But no. No. Yeah, well, thank you, sir. Do you think John's got a fish? It's not a cold though, is it? It's not coming out. It is, it's moving. It's not. It's not. I probably would have been alright without my box. It didn't look soft. Yeah. Look at the state of my box. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Let the match fucking come at me. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we did it. The Sunday, I've weighed in with a cod. I've been trying a long time to do that, I tell you. It's been hard work. Um, let's have a look at the final results from the European Open Beach Fishing Championship. Now, in first place was Pippin Moore, who actually won the competition last year. It's never happened before two people to win it, let alone two years in a row. Well done. That is a, a remarkable result. This is what I was saying about this. Saturday, Pippin did not weigh in a single fish. And then he's caught a 4,690-gram 4, 4, form back ray. What's that? Over £10, isn't it? So he didn't catch anything on Saturday. Caught a massive ray on the Sunday. So... That really shows you should never give up in this competition. Second place, Martin Wilding, um, who weighed in on the Saturday and Sunday. Ben Laws was in third place. He only weighed in on the first day. Um, I'm just looking where I came. Right, so the overall results, I was 72nd. Now, there was well over a 1,000 people fishing. 72nd doesn't sound great. But I'll take that because I think that's my highest placing. So, yeah, it, it is what it is. I needed another fish on the Saturday. Talking of someone who got a fish on the Saturday and Sunday, I would like to say a massive congratulations to Dave Gunn. Dave Gunn's part of our group. In actual fact, Dave Gunn went to school with Rob Remnant and Darren Kramer. He's been in one of my videos a couple of years ago when I was filming up there, wearing the mad hat. That's Dave Gunn. Bit of a character, lovely bloke. I always look forward to going up and seeing him every year. He had 18th overall. Well done, Dave Gunn. Uh, he, he weighed in both days. It's so important to weigh in both days, even if they're not massive fish. So, He's had a 765 gram card on the Saturday, 850 gram on the Sunday. Backstage. <laughs> Go on, Gunny. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
he just bought one of them before he come up. <laughs> on, on his manager. <laughs> Coming in 18th overall in the European Open Beat Fishing Championships. Well done, Gunny. Other noticeable winners, Troy Francis. He only waited on that first day just down from us. He was the overseas winner. Um, female winner. Important one is Sally Tucker. Sally, I met Sally and her husband fishing the SLO over the last few years. They're a lovely couple. They travel around together. Couldn't be any nicer. And Sally was the female winner of the European Open Beach Fishing Championships. And she didn't weigh in on the Saturday, but she weighed in on the Sunday with a whiting of 310 grams. So well done, Sally. Uh, junior winners, Ashley Martin from Newport, um, who caught an 815 gram fish on the Sunday. Second in the juniors was Harry Whitehead from Gaul. So well done to the juniors, the women's, the men's. Uh, well done to everyone. I have, I've had a brilliant experience this year. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, a massive thank you to Liam Grady for doing all the driving up there and each morning. It is hard work. Big thank you to Robbie Gin uh, and John Delaney. I, I really enjoyed their company all weekend. I actually, you can probably tell in the video, my voice completely went. I was pretending I was sort of all right. I wasn't all right. I, was, I became quite ill over the weekend. And I just cracked on as normal, but my throat was all burning. I was all achy. Yeah, I was getting iller and iller. Um, but a week on, the throat's better. I'm feeling better. There will be another video up next week, and it'll be from Fish On Round 3 from Leon Solon and Stokes Bay. Give us a subscribe if you've got this far. Big love. Thanks for watching. I will see you next year at the European Open Beach Fishing Championships.